Hey guys, and now welcome back. I am over on Scott Games, and as you can see, Scott has changed the background. We have many a uh, marching teeny tiny feet that look more than menacing here. Uh, I am not sure which animatronic we are looking at. Uh, it does appear to either be a pale pink color or perhaps red. It may be the lighting. It looks like we have blue lighting. And as you know, when blue lighting hits something, it does change the coloring. It's an old uh, effect they used to use in a um, vaudeville. If we go down, don't hold it against us. So now we may perhaps know who said don't hold it against us. If you remember the trailer from what seems like eons ago. Let's get a look at these little marchers here. I'm going to be going over. And again, seeing it say sister location is interesting. Sister location is a typical word that we say in the English language. We don't say brother location. It is just our language. And a lot of people have been making ado about that. That's the only reason I push it out, point it out, rather. And I did say a couple videos ago about these looking like tiny ears. So is this the one that had the face open? I do wonder. Um, I don't know why I am saying this off the top of my head. Do not hate me. I am thinking Mega Man. I don't know why there is something about the design that is reminding me of Mega Man. That is just off the top of my head. I did not watch any other theory videos. I do. You guys know me. I do not like to watch any other theory videos or uh, anyone else before I get my two cents out there. Because I don't want to, you know, just throw back out what I already heard. I don't want to steal anyone else's work. But I like the idea that there is so many of them. Does this mean that there is a fully functioning workshop at this location? If, as there are, now I have watched some theory videos. Does this mean that if they are sending these little ones out to parties, that this is a option to send a troop if they are going with a circus theme to send a troop of tumblers out or the like. Good lord, can you imagine these things getting through the crawl space and coming into your office? It looks like these may be the speakers that everyone has been mentioning. They, you do know that there will be voice acting in this uh, game. It's interesting that they do look like clones, and yet, perhaps it's just my screen, perhaps it's wishful thinking. They do look slightly tiny, oh so different. Perhaps it's wishful thinking on my part. Perhaps they will have different personalities, perhaps they won't. There is just something a little menacing about the mass production idea. It's almost the idea that we have reached a point where humans are obsolete. Um, you know, think about it. Uh, you have an option now to um, hire robots or animatronics for a party. You aren't going out and hiring a clown or a magician or a group of acrobats. You are hiring an uh, animatronic out. So it's, it's very, you know, surreal. Is this the past, the future? We don't know yet. Scott hasn't told us. And again, of course, I we assume these are going to have the face opening mechanic. And it's all going to go horribly wrong for us if we are playing the night guard or we are playing the um, creator or whomever we are playing. And they are just, they are great looking. I wanted to bring this to you. I am going to have a uh, link for you. And so you can see them for yourself. They are just, they are great. Gorgeous. I am wondering what their attack mechanic is going to be. I am wondering if, since they're so tiny, are they all going to jump at you at once? Are they going to have some sort of tumbling routine? Uh, they're just, they're, they're beautiful. That's the only way I can describe it. There's a sort of strange sort of beauty. I'm thinking they're going to be very agile 
And you know, if you've ever seen a tumbling routine, they're so quick, you can almost not follow the action with your eyes. I think these will be almost... I'm probably going to be wrong on this. I've been wrong on every theory so far. I'm almost thinking these are going to be like little mini foxy attackers. You're not going to see these ones coming. They're going to just get you. Maybe you're going to hear little wee scampers and it's going to be too late. I mean, if they get access to your vents, you're done. I, I could I could not see how you could keep these ones out of the office. Uh, if you're in free room and these little guys are boot scooting around, Oh my god, they're they're bad enough traveling in a group. Can you imagine if they would split up and they'd be hanging from a ceiling or something? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show this to you. And it, I'd love to hear what you think. And, you know, play nice in the comments. Don't hate on each other. Don't be harsh with each other. All, all these are our theories, guys. This, You know, this is not war. This is, you know, we're not trying to hurt on each other. We're not trying to harsh on Scott. We're just putting out theories here. We all love the game. Let's be nice with each other. Um, and, you know, let's be nice. I don't put out theories to harsh on any of the other people putting out theories. Uh, amazing job that Scott did with these. I've got to say that, you know, hats off to him. Um, hats off to all the other theorists, too. I mean, hey, they, I am sure they have better stuff to do with their lives than sit down and look at an image and say, hey, this is what I think. And I, I am saying that with all due respect because, you know, we all make choices with our lives with what we do. Uh, theorists do it for the love of doing the theories because we find pleasure in it. Uh, Scott does the games for the love of the games. So, you know, we all come together in this community out of love and passion for the games and for the uh, characters. So let's have some civility here and uh, let's have some kindness here. Uh, with everything going on in the world lately, guys, uh, let's make this one place where we can get along, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm asking. I don't care how much we, you know, we disagree. You can be 360 from me on what you think they're going to do uh, or what you think these, uh, what they represent. I'm, I'm not even going to guess a gender here. I, I'm going to go with, you know, their animatronics. I don't think it matters. But, um... You know, go ahead, throw out some names. I'm, I'm not even guessing at this point. I'm beyond guessing at this point on the names. And uh, this is Nightcat, and I will give you the link over, and uh, I'm going to sign up. But this is this is amazing how fast he is updating now, because it just seems like it's one, two, three. Okay, and I hope this new fangled recording worked out. The old lady trying stuff out. This is Nightcat signing off. Bye-bye.